What's going on? Captain Paul from the Talking Shit Podcast. And uh, before I get right into it, uh, I'd appreciate it if you could like on this video, comment, and hopefully subscribe. I'm trying to be a little bit more, uh, I would say, be sure a little bit more initiative saying that at the beginning of the video because a lot of these interactions will definitely help us with the algorithm. So, like, if, if you're a new viewer, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed or liked and even just comment down below to have a discussion. Um, it would really help us out with the algorithm. So, let's get into it. Two U's, two K's, and he is done. Tuka Rask for the Boston Bruins has officially called it a career. He tried to have a nice comeback after a, you know, pretty serious hip injury. You know, he came back, he just didn't look right, didn't look like himself, and uh, Tuka decided to call it a career. Uh, he goes down as one of the greatest Boston Bruins goaltenders of all time. He is highly successful, and, uh, you know, it's his career as a whole, I definitely think he's a Hall of Famer. Do I think first ballot? Probably not, but I think he'll eventually get into the Hall of Fame just on his statistics alone. Um, you can make a whole separate video about how you view Rask, but I want to keep it to this. Like, I think Tuka Rask, especially after Tim Thomas, that, like, elite level of play Tim Thomas had for those few years in, in his quote-unquote prime, you know, we went from having a very good goaltender to having a very good goaltender. Uh, Tuka Rask was always there. Um, he was always dependable, always played his games, and he had a fiery passion about himself. And um, as a Boston Bruins fan, it's going to be very hard to replace that level of success and that level of talent. Um, the future is very bright in Boston with Jerry Swayman, Jeremy Swayman, excuse me. But I think that's going to take you know maybe another year or two until he reaches um, his actual prime. Olmark, I think, is an above-average goalie, so you know we're going to have someone to hold the fort. But you know, as someone that grew up, you know, watching goaltenders like Byron Defoe, Steve Shields. Not to knock on Byron Defoe, he had like a couple good years, but uh, Steve Shields, like Jeff Hackett, like there was such a, you know, rotating door of goaltending for so many years as a young Boston Bruins fan. And then until we got Tim Thomas, you know, it's it just, you know, going from Tim Thomas to Tuka Rask and having this like, you know, was it 14 years of stability in net um, is something that I think we kind of take for granted at times. I think Tuka... Um, did he win the big one by himself? No. He is technically a Stanley Cup champion, but he was more the backup with Tim Thomas. Um, did he fold during playoff games? Uh, yeah, he did. He, he would kind of cave. But to be fair, I think sometimes those Bruins teams would collapse within themselves. I don't think it was just on the goaltender. Um, you know, some of those miscues in the playoffs aside, Tuca took the Bruins to heights that some seasons they didn't even deserve to go into the second or third round. And, uh, you know, he definitely had a very – you know, high level of play that he could reach. He'd be like one of the best goaltenders in the game. And uh, for having like over a 920 save percentage for his career, his numbers are absolutely insane. And the win totals that he has as a Boston Bruins netminder is going to be very, very hard to challenge. Uh, Tuka Rask, you can arguably say, is the greatest Boston Bruins goaltender of all time. Um, and I think if you state that, It'd be really hard to refute your argument. So, I just want to say, as a Boston Bruins fan, thank you, Tuka Rass, for you know playing for the Bruins. You know, showing such loyalty to the Boston Bruins when you really didn't have to, because you know we fans got shit on you at times. But uh, you know, I want to thank him for the great memories that he gave us as Boston Bruins fans. All the cup runs, all the playoff runs, some of the amazing and spectacular saves he made. Just you know. It's going to be very hard to duplicate that. And I do feel bad for Swayman in this sense. You know, when you went from Thomas to Rask, there was not that much of a drop-off. Or actually, you saw some improvement in the goaltending situation, right? And that's what Boston Bruins fans are now going to expect from Swayman. So um, I think we as Bruins fans took Rask for granted at times because of how good he could be. And um, as someone that remembered the goaltending carousel we would have it for years before Tim Thomas... Um, I'm definitely not going to bash the man or, you know, make light of his accomplishments because that man brought stability to an organization in net that we desperately needed. Um, especially, like I said, before Tim Thomas and Rask, the goaltending situation was always in flux. So I'm hoping Jeremy Swayman can fill those shoes soon enough, but um, I think Olmark will be able to hold the reins until Swayman's ready to go. So for this... I want to say, again, thank you, Tuka. What do you guys think down below? Do you think Tuka Rask is one of the greatest goaltenders of all time? Do you think he's a Boston Bruins legend? Or do you think he was slightly overrated? Do you think he collapsed in playoffs? It would be very interesting to have 
uh, that discussion down below. So this is Captain Paul for the Talking Ship Podcast. And again, if you could like on the video, comment, and even subscribe, that would greatly help us in the algorithm. I'm done talking my shit, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.